<clears throat> okay guys welcome to uh, the next video of phase three which is momentum um, momentum is a uh, is something I like to use generally with structure um, and I essentially refer momentum right as essentially the rate of change in terms of price right over X amount of time right so by that I mean I'm measuring the distance that price goes and how long it takes for it to go there right distance time uh, and price are pretty much the the main dimensions that you see in price outside of behaviors and all that but we'll cover that later on right but for the most part right the the dimensions that are provided to us inside of a chart are your price right are the fluctuations of price right which is the distance right and then the time which is how long right whether it's how long an impulse takes how long a correction takes how long you know anything takes um, and so I've essentially broken down momentum into two different things. And there is high momentum and there's low momentum, right? High momentum, right, is low time, high movement, right? Which is essentially a strong impulsive move, right? And low momentum is a high time, low movement move, which is essentially corrective structure per se, right? And you always want to correlate your momentum with structure, right? Because you never want to get confused and to think that just because you have low momentum, doesn't mean that you, the direction can't be completely reversed and we'll cover that in a bit um, but essentially right as, as the basics part right as we can see right looking at the dimensions at, at play I'm seeing an impulsive move right low time high movement right and this now and this also creates a break of structure so it's not aligning right with a break of structure and high momentum right that is something I also like to refer to as showing its hand right it's seeing momentum seeing structure align, maybe even a liquidity grab, maybe even a mitigation, right? But the main principle behind showing its hand, right, is to see momentum, right? Is to see essentially intent to want to see higher, see a reason to want to go higher, right? So we see the intent to want to go higher. We see the structure points uh, here and here be taken out, right? Because for example, I consider this a structure point, right? Even though I have it classified as the same here, Right. This could also be the start of the of the entire leg. Why? Because this essentially this high took out the previous leg low. Right. So I see this as one full leg and I see this as the immediate range. Right. Which is why I'm highlighting that. So we not only took that, but we also took this. Right. So we now have the structural range in play here. Right. So high movement, low volume. I mean, high movement, low. I mean, high. I'm sorry. Low time, high movement. Right. You see, you have the impulsive move right low time high movement right whereas now the correction right is high time low movement right so structure and momentum are aligning at the same time right which means that theoretically if i have an impulsive move to the upside i have a corrective move to the downside then theoretically my move should or essentially the direction of price should continue to be up right so this is trying to be, it's a very linear way of seeing the market. And I think it's a very good starting point for a lot of you because you're gonna see momentum shift over time. Um, because like, for example, with our next example, right? Now we're looking at ADUSD at H4, right? As you can see, right? We had a high here that took out a previous low, which then created a new high. So this creates my overall structural range, right? We took out that previous structure point there. Um, only smaller time frame, right? So we now have low time, high mo high movement, high volume, high momentum, right? It doesn't really matter how you want to look at it. Um, and now, right, as you can see, the corrective move doesn't really have much structure to it, right? So as you can see, high time, low movement, right? So where is momentum clearly? To the upside, right? So it's something that I think is very, very good to correlate with structure, like I said, right? And it can really clear up the picture as to where you should be looking for price, right? But just because momentum is going one direction does not necessarily mean you can reverse, right? And let me show you an example of that, right? Here we have Euro USD, right? So as we're looking, right, essentially our structure point here has been taken out, right? High movement, um, low time right and that has created intent and wanted to show us that price can go higher right so we now are essentially in this entire range here right but if we're continuing order flow 
right? You could see one, two, right? A potential mitigation here, right? A potential mitigation here because order flow is still to the upside. So you would naturally want to see price mitigate one of these two areas, right? So for clarity's sake and for to be simple about it here, right? You could say there is a candle of interest here. Right, candle of interest here, right? Momentum, right? Definitely you see high time, low movement, right? But as you can see, the internal structure, right? Where that could be your, your, your uh, I'm sorry, your micro or it could even be your scalp. Um, where as you can see, right? Lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, right? And as you can see, this high did not create a new low, but we actually came and essentially caught a liquidity grab and created price lower. So we've now taken out the two potential places of mitigation. That is now a disruption, right? And because we took the initial leg out here, that's now a break of structure to the downside, right? So my new immediate range is here, right? High movement, low time, right? So now as you can see, momentum has now shifted to the downside so because this is struggling so much to give you an upside move right it shows you that momentum is clearly to the downside and if you want to add more detail to it right being inside of that range right you could say right that this is the pullback here we now have a break of structure right we now have an sc here right we now have 50% of our SC, right? So we're not using structure, we're using momentum, right? We're using an SC that follows the rules here, right? And this now creates bearish order flow, bearish movement, right? Because we correlated everything together. So that is what I mean with confluence, right? So for the most part, just remember low time, high movement, high time, low movement, right? The difference between a strong move, an impulsive move, and a corrective move. Um, so yeah, just always make sure you're correlating structure with it and you're, and you're justifying what you're doing. If you cannot justify what you're doing, then there is no legitimate reason as to why you should take that. Um, and that's just logic in my opinion, that's just common sense. Um, but yeah, for the most part, that concludes the momentum video and I'll see you guys in the next video.